I'm so excited. We're making shrunken apple heads today. First time I made them, I was in the third grade, and we were able to take a knife to school to do the carving. So crazy. And here's what we'll need for supplies. Apples, carving tools, lemons, rice, and toothpicks. Here's one my kids made when they were little. It lasted two years, got a little dusty, and I had to toss it in the trash. I think the pumpkin carving tools will work just fine. But for the older kids, if you think they're ready, they could use a paring knife for details. First, you'll have to peel the apples. So remove all the skin and then look at it. Decide where you want the face to be. I'm going to try all the different tools. I'm going to start with this one. It has a nice little point and you can just make some little wrinkles in the forehead and then push out to make the line a little thick. This tool works pretty good. I think the younger kids are going to have fun. And they can do it just like they're carving a pumpkin too. Just holes for the eyes, small holes for the nose, and a slit for the mouth. The apple is totally going to shrink up. Okay, let me try one of these other tools. I'm going to make the nose, make two lines, and then remove some of the apple flesh so that the nose sticks out a little bit. Yeah, this tool will work pretty good. Now I'm going to use the um, paring knife. Let's see how that works. Paring knives are pretty sharp, so go over knife safety with your child if you decide to let them use it. And you slide down and bring it right across to that slit and then just pop it out. Kind of like when I did the um, apple prints. You're just popping out the wedge. I'm just trimming to make the bridge of the nose. Let me clean this up. And remember that the apple is totally going to shrink. So make the nose pretty big because it shrinks a lot. Here I'm going to use that same technique where you make a line or a cut and then you go the other way and slide the knife to that cut to remove big pieces of the, the apple flesh. That's for the base of the nose. Okay, let me try this bigger pumpkin covered tool. Yeah, that's working nicely. You can pull out the eyes. Just push it out, pop. You can make one deep set, one shallow, or both shallow, or both deep. You'll never know what it's gonna look like until it's all dried up and shriveled, a little shrunken apple head. I'm going to use the um, paring knife to do some details underneath and put some wrinkles under the eyes. So I'm just making like the bags under the eyes. So I'm just going to do a line and scoop out. You don't have to make it too deep or too thick because it will all shrivel up and get all dried up. Like I said, it will be so fun to see what it looks like when it's all dried up. You can do all kinds of wrinkles. I'm going to make the corners of the mouth using that same technique. And I'm just going to do two lines and scoop out the middle. Like if you just went made a slit with a knife, it would dry and open up a little. So like I said, you'll never know until the end. Well, that tool will work pretty good by just digging it out. Okay, now for the mouth, I'm going to cut a little slit. You can do it a little bigger, but leave a piece of apple flesh in the middle for a tongue. That's pretty gross. I think you need some cheekbones. So I'm gonna do a line and then another line. Uh, just, you know, same technique, pushing the knife from one line to the other and popping out the wedge. <laughs> Let's see if I can do the other cheekbone with a saw, <laughs> a pumpkin saw. Oh yeah, that's not bad. Apples are so soft. The only thing is, yep, I think, oh, wait a minute, let me get this out. See how there's some um, mushy applesauce flesh there? Scoop it out. Don't leave it on there. Make it clean. 
Oh, he's so cute. Look at that little shrunken apple head. Next, we have to dip him in some lemon juice. Yay. Okay, so cut a lemon in half and just squeeze the juice in the bowl. I'm just going to squeeze it right over him because I only have one apple. But you squeeze a couple of lemons in the bowl. You can even use those lemons that come in the plastic containers. There's other recipes, but I think lemon juice works fine. I'm going to tie a little string on him so we can hang him to dry. I usually hang mine in the kitchen. I hang him over the window in a nice, dry, bright place. That way he'll dry out and not get moldy. Oh no, I forgot to put the teeth. So I'm going to use the toothpick to put some holes and then push the rice right in those holes. Oh my goodness, the lemon juice made him so slippery. So make sure you do this before you put the lemon juice on. If you don't have rice, you can use the toothpicks. Just break them up or cut them up with a knife. And if you put them in, they'll look like fangs or tusks. So rice or toothpicks are good for teeth. You can use clothes for the eyes. Oh, look at him now, a day old. Already starting to dry up. Three days old. Look at the difference already. I can't wait to see what he's like in two weeks. Thank you so much for joining me and making my favorite fall craft, shrunken apple heads. See you next time. I'm going to do some gross out Halloween food.